Hi, my name is Sean. I am a pin setter mechanic. I am certified to work on Brunswick A, A2, and Jetback pin setters. Now today we're gonna continue the adjustment series and we are going to do the gearbox clutch adjustment. Uh, normally you would do this adjustment um, after you had uh, taken apart the clutch and uh, I'm going to be doing that in another video, but for now, uh, we're gonna, just gonna do the adjustments for it. Uh, one re another reason you need to do this is uh, your clutch does wear, uh, so you're gonna have to go through and, and adjust it, because eventually you will get this kind of play in here. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're gonna take these two jam nuts off here, and we're gonna loosen the ones down here in the bottom. Uh, and then we're gonna go from there and see what else needs to be done, if anything at all. So when you get them loose, uh, go ahead and take them off. You wanna make sure, even with adjusting them, I still wanna make sure that everything in here is still in the right order and you know nothing has gone horrible in here as to why this is. Uh, it has some play in it. So, take this off, we'll inspect it. There is some uh, shine to this, so I will go ahead and take some Scotch-Brite, and I'll uh, make sure that gets dulled up. And then the other thing I like to check is the uh, pulley itself. Make sure the bearing is, is good. Make sure that the holes are fine. And you can see whoever went with this before uh, decided to drill new holes in it because that one was hollowed out. Eh, personally, I don't think that's a bad idea. Just kind of make sure that you do it in the uh, right place. And as you see, the other two, they got uh, too close to the edge. <laughs> so, that's not an awful idea, just not necessarily the best. So we'll go ahead and we'll clean those two things up and uh, maybe take some scotch Bright to the uh, clutch uh, disc itself. So I'm not going to do, you know, too, uh, too much of the cleaning just because uh, at some point, yes, I will come through and I will rebuild this clutch. And when we do that, then we'll go through and we'll do like a deep cleaning of everything and it won't be too bad. But now with these clean and they've been cleaned up and inspected. So the one other thing that I like to do is when putting this back together, look where this pin is. And as you can see, this pin is basically right there on a uh, top groove. So turn your hole to a top groove on here so then when you put it on you can try and get it on first try but more likely than not it's not going to be the first try all right so with that on so now we're going to put our nuts on So the way that I was told to do when you're putting your clutches in is you want to get it to where the uh, you have a uh, a stop kind of like a plate here that holds in your worm shaft onto you, like in your gearbox and I was told that you want to get it to where it's basically flush so you can see with that there's no gap in, in between this and the uh, clutch pulley. So that's just the way that I was told, so that's the way I've done every clutch since. All right, All right that's in, and as you can see, not moving anymore, because this was loose, some of the plates got 
loose and everything like that. There is some play side to side still, which, um, so with there being play side to side, it tells me that the splines on the shaft might be a little bit worn. So, but as right now it's works, play back and forth is gone. And that's that. Short adjustment makes a difference. Like everything else does. So that's it. It's the end of the video. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'm more than happy to help. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.